Hello my dear friends. Welcome to an interesting and fascinating chapter of story time. Today I am telling a story of a bright cock who outwitted the cunning fox in a witful manner. It's me and the set of rams. Story time. Now let me narrate a story named The Clever Cock. Once there lived a cock in a farmer's house near to a forest. One night while he was resting on a branch of a tree, he heard an unusual sound below. It had long pointed nose and two giddily looking eyes. It was none other than our cunning fox. The fox was very hungry and came in search of food to the farmer's house. Noticing that the cock was awake, the cunning fox greeted him with a big greedy smile. Then the fox said to the cock in a very excited and joyful manner, did you hear the wonderful news that was announced in the evening? It is the main topic in and around the forest. What news? asked the cock very calmly. The fox replied, Your family and mine and all other animals agreed to forget their own differences and live in peace and friendship for now and forever. You just think of it. I simply cannot wait to embrace you. Come down, my friend. Come down. Let's enjoy this joyful event. The clever cock realized the plot but pretended to be normal and said, Wow, I am so delighted to hear the news. Then the clever cock stretched himself and looked at the farmer's house as if something is moving towards their direction. What are you seeing? asked the fox very anxiously. It looks like two dogs are coming this way. They might have heard the good news and may be coming to embrace you too. The fox did not wait for a second and started running. Wait, wait, cried the cock. Why are you running? The dogs are now your friend. Yes, yes, answered the fox. They might not have heard the news. Moreover, I have an important meeting that I have almost forgotten about. This, the clever cock, outsmarted the cunning fox in a witful way. Later, he went back to sleep. My dear friends, the moral of the story is, it is difficult to deceive the wise. See you again with another story. Till then, bye-bye.